My response to the to the broken comment has been pretty consistent. Um, it's not broken. Uh, I think Dr. Atkinson uses the uh, the language we need to remodel. There's there's a strong foundation. Certainly, we need to do better than we're doing. But a system that has seen a graduation rate increase as we've increased over the past five years that's that's not a broken system. We're graduating more students than ever before to a, to a higher level than ever before. And are, are we satisfied that we're at eighty percent? No, we're not satisfied. But it's a whole lot better than sixty eight percent. So you know this this broken stuff is is just nonsense. And and again, I think that kind of goes back to what I said earlier about um, the morale of teachers and, and beating teachers over the head and and kind of blaming, um, you know, placing blame somewhere where blame doesn't deserve to to be placed. So and I, I wish we could have um, some some sensible discourse on on this issue, but it gets so inflammatory. Whenever those of us in the education, so-called education establishment, try to point something out about progress, we're we're accused of protecting the status quo and caring more about the institution than we do about students. I think you can see a a history of of innovation in North Carolina. It just it, it puzzles me that we have this talk in political campaigns, and it's not just at the gubernatorial level; it's at at, at every level. And then I go across the nation, Chris, and and people are looking to North Carolina. How do you do the things you're doing? How you know? How can you get to to that point? The progress that you've made, and and we get beat up here at home. It's uh, I guess no profit in this own land. I don't know, <laughs> it but it's frustrating. Be. That 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 really frustrates me. The, the broken message.